Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. One of the former members of 3LW named Keely Williams was on Instagram and she responded to the comments about her former group member, Notori Naughton, leaving the group 3LW. Now, if you don't know, 3LW was a girl group in the early 2000s and they did have quite a bit of success and they could have had even more success. However, things did go south for them as a group once they kicked Notori out of it. Now, Notori actually exposed the real reason why she was out of the group on the Wendy Williams radio show. Notori talked about how she was mistreated by the management team. Not only that, she revealed that one of the group members, Keely Williams, threw a hot plate of food in her face and she told her story on the Wendy Williams radio show, which did get national attention. I never actually left through a W to begin with. The only reason I'm here and I'm back in East Orange, New Jersey, is because I was forced off the road to leave because there was a basically attack on me by my group member, Keely Williams. She tried to assault me through yes. a plate of food, hot food in my face, hit my eye. And I'm thinking, hey, I'm on the road trying to do my job. I have, I don't have to take this. There's no reason where, why I should be getting hit, being cursed out, you know, verbally abused, physically abused. So I left. This all started with the whole urban thing and 3LW needed to grab in their urban audience. Okay. And they basically said that it was my responsibility to be the ghetto around the way urban chick that all the, you know, around the way girls can relate to. And oh. I'm saying, I think people relate to me, but that doesn't mean I have to switch up who I am completely. Right, right. They were telling me you have to always be in Tim's, wear baggy pants, you know, the way you dress, the way you talk what? has to be that thug urban girl. And I'm saying, hey, I'm me. If people, if the fans like it, why are you complaining? So they were never satisfied with what I brought. And they said that I didn't bring my end of what 3LW needed. So they're trying to replace me with this understudy girl who's basically learning all my parts to be me. Me, Keely, and Adrian were tight. Uh -huh. We were friends, okay. and I, I really, really thought this. They basically didn't want me out the group. Initially, they even told me, you know, Keely said, I think this is drastic. Why are we doing this? She didn't think it was necessary. Okay, okay. But I think what happened was management kind of put the pressure on them, and they even told me this is a lot of pressure for And us. the management is, is Keely's... Mother. Mother. Mother, sister. Yes, exactly. So she goes and tells them, and along with probably our production company, okay. but I know for sure that it was, hey, we need to do what's business smart. If you keep her in the group, then the group is going to be held back. I'm holding them back from their success, and wait, we wait. need to get her out. And Sorry. what was on the plate that Keely uh, threw at you, and and, and, and and was it real yeah, hot? This is this is crazy, because I didn't even touch her, and then she did it in a very cowardly way. Where like, were you? We were in the in a car, in an expedition, Okay. and we had stopped to get KFC. You know, I'm getting my food, sitting in the back, back seat of the car, okay. eating my food. Michelle starts yelling at me, like, you know... You t explain to the fans that you told Wendy Williams and why is Wendy telling our business and this, this and that. And I said, I don't have anything to do with it. And she said, yes, you do. How you know, you're, this is your fault and, you know, blah, blah, blah. How terrible. So then Keely and Adrian come from KFC with their plates right, in hand. Right, right, right. So, oh, my God. <laughs> so it's you, the management, and the limo driver, this, the expedition driver. At the time. Okay, so the other girls come out. They, they got see their us arguing. Piece. Okay. And, and all I know is out of the blue, Keely just is like, F you. And then throws the plate dead in my face, oh, in my okay. eye. My eye was watering. It was yeah, well, you had mashed potatoes and gravy. At mashed potatoes, mashed all over my hair, my face, down my clothes. It was a mess. And right then and there, oh. I was like, I don't have to take this. I don't have to take anybody trying to physically assault me, put me in harm. So I left. Did Adrian jump in and give her your her two piece too? Did, did she give you a two piece? <laughs> no, Adrian never attacked me. All Adrian did was defend her and say that she had every right to hit me. And I said, no, she has no right to hit me or to throw anything in my face. So we're in the parking lot screaming and all this crazy. And all Michelle did was say, what do you want me to do? Spank her? And that's it. She's supposed to be a manager, represent each and every one of us equally. Yes. If that's her job, right then and there, she let the fact that her personal feelings, maybe she doesn't like me, get involved, which was unfair. Um, one is that Notori uh, stated that while she was arguing with your mom, who's also your manager, um, that, that you threw a hot plate of Kentucky Fried Chicken in her face? We feel silly even defending myself against a two-piece. It, it sounds, sounds crazy, crazy to us. Like, it, you know. it really sounds crazy. Well, first of all, she was not arguing with my mom. She was arguing with me. 
Now, Notorious' interview really affected 3LW. In fact, they were never the same after Notori left. They attempted to replace her with another girl named Jessica, but it didn't work out and the group eventually just went downhill. Now, that's just a brief backstory and I will go into more detail about what happened to 3LW, but I'm gonna read some of the comments that Keely made about her former group member, Notori Naughton. Now, Keely made this long post on Instagram about black women being pitted against each other, and someone said this, this is true, but you kicked Notori out of 3LW back in 2002. And Keely said, not true, but it was a very effective lie. The person said, so who kicked her out? Keely said, no one. If memory serves, she got a boyfriend and men are the ruiners of all girl groups. Tease, wanna jump in on this one? If you don't know who Tease is, Tease was the former manager of 3LW. And back in 2017, she wrote a lot of tweets dissing Adrian and Notori because she was upset that Adrian and Notori actually made amends on the real. And now she went on a whole new rant against Notori and said this, Keely, trust me, one day all of the Williams sisters will sit down for an in-depth interview on camera to set the record straight if we feel we need to. Notori's entire career is built on a lie. She used it to gain sympathy, fans, and loyalty. Rather than being an advocate for black women as she claims to be, she was a purveyor of one of the most damaging tropes existing among people of color that light-skinned black people, or more accurately, people that black people label as light-skinned, think they're better than brown-skinned black people and black people bought it she is a good actor the sad thing is she could have been just as successful if she hadn't started her solo acting career with a lie she's incredibly talented but at 15 she was incredibly uncomfortable with her skin tone no one kicked her out of anything she plotted with wendy and wendy's husband kevin hunter to leave 3lw and destroy keely williams and adrian on the way out and then there was maurice her quote-unquote boyfriend Honestly, I don't believe Tease at all. Notori left because she was being mistreated in that group. And the only way she could get her story out there was to go on Wendy's radio show. And not only that, Notori did sue the managers of 3LW and there were some details leaked about that lawsuit on Billboard. Notori claimed in the lawsuit that she was expected to do more than just sing and dance for the group. She was urged to be in a romantic relationship with a member of the rap group St. Lunatics so the group could ask 3LW to tour with them. Notori said in her suit that she went to a meeting with a member of St. Lunatics and when she returned, she told the three Williams sisters and by loan that she did not get intimate with the group member. And one of the managers, Michelle Williams, berated her for not getting her quote unquote Mac game up. Notori said that she got the impression that she needed to use sex or intimacy to get 3LW a place on the tour with the St. Lunatics, which did not happen. Notori said Michelle Williams harassed her more because she failed to close the deal. So honestly, if these managers, Michelle and Tease Williams, tried to pressure Notori to be in a relationship against her will, that kind of lets you know that, you know what? They were not only mistreating her, but they were doing some slimy stuff, like trying to pimp her out. And I have to say allegedly, but it's something that happens a lot. And I believe that it happened to Notori, I do. And I also have to respond to Tisa's claim that Notori built her career off of a lie. Now, first of all, when Notori left 3LW, she couldn't find work because the managers actually had blackballed her. That's true T. So she literally had to build her career from the ground up and she transitioned into acting because she was blackballed from the music industry for a while. Actually, when I was in 3LW, I feel like they tried to blackball me in the industry then because I wanted to get back in the record business. And when I was you know, pushed out of that group, I was kind of put in this box where nobody could sign me, nobody could touch me. You know, the producers and the managers that I worked with in 3LW definitely tried to blackball me. That's actually exactly what I felt. So I've never been blackballed in Hollywood as an actress because I recreated myself. But in the record business, I felt like uh, some of that did try to blackball me as far as being in the record business, getting a deal, continuing with my music. But I knew that, you know, when people try to blackball you and it's not based in truth, it can't really live and it can't really survive. That's facts. Mm-hmm. 
Now, one of the commenters actually responded to Keely Williams' reason of why Notori left. She said, no boo, it's cause she was dark skinned and the most talented of all three of y'all. She could sing and dance, whereas you and Adrian could only do one or the other. The other reason you and Adrian were only singing lead was because of colorism and the fact that your sister slash mom was working at the label at the time and you threw fried chicken at her. Keely responded and said, K. First, Adrian has a lovely voice and perfect pitch. I never claimed to be Whitney Houston, girl. That wasn't what I was there for. My tone is crazy, though. Not sorry. And second, here you go with the darkest thing. You're literally doing what this post in every group I've ever been a member of was supposed to fight against. Every group I've ever been in and my family has formed has been multicultural, women from different walks of life, race, and color. Why would we do this if we didn't want more representation and inclusion? I think we should invite all our former group members. We need lie detectors for everyone. Meet the parents style. It's clear that Keely is implying that Notori is lying, but honestly, let's be real. The two members of the group, Adrian and Keely, were the main ones singing lead. Now, why was that? Keely wasn't a strong singer at all. Adrian, she could sing a little bit, but the strongest singer in the group was Notori. Now you just heard Notori sing, so ask yourself this, why wasn't she allowed to sing as much as Keely and Adrian? It obviously wasn't because she wasn't talented. She wasn't allowed to sing as much because let's be honest, she didn't have the look that they wanted to push. Keely and Adrian were pushed more into the forefront and Notori kind of stayed in the background. Now Notori did get to lead on a few songs, including Play Is Gonna Play, but she definitely wasn't singing as much as Keely and Adrian were. And I do believe it has something to do with her color. Now, at any given point, um, young Notori, mm -hmm. was your complexion brought up in this? A lot of people have been asking me, you know, why are they trying to kick the dark skinned girl out the group? And I thought back to when I was 15 years old, about three years ago, okay. management and um, our production company sat us down and basically told us how we have to put Adrian, the Puerto Rican girl, more up front and the J-Lo thing is in right now. And they basically explained how there's a Puerto Rican fad okay. and that she had to be more up front. And I'm thinking, oh my, like I'm 15, I'm just trying to sing. That's all I really want to do. Okay. And I didn't think that my skin color should really matter. But they Aww. basically just told me that, well, you know, nobody's really checking for, you know, the brown skin girl to be up front. J-Lo and the Puerto Rican thing <sighs> is what's in right now. And, and to bring in color and to say that, you know, that she was kicked out of the group because she was the dark skin girl. It's crazy. She was brought into the group because she was the dark skin girl. Notori was in the group solely to be the token brown skin girl. The managers wanted to pattern their group after Destiny's Child, and they wanted Notori to be the Kelly Rowland of the group. So that's the role that Notori had to play. She wasn't pushed in the forefront like the other two, but she did play a role because, you know, she had to represent for the black girls. But her singing talent, unfortunately, was not showcased the way that it should have been. Now, Tease Williams actually responded to Keeley's lie detector test idea and said, that's a great idea. I don't think Adrian or Notori would take a lie detector test. That would pretty much blow their stories to shreds. Remember, we have receipts. I'm down if they're down. I have nothing to hide. Cue the part where Notori, the girl who couldn't keep us out her mouth for the past 15 years, says when asked about a face-to-face -face and lie detector test, oh, that's so stupid. They should just move on. Get out of here. Now you want to move on? Now, honestly, I don't know what Tease is talking about. She sounds a little crazy, to be honest. She's really still the one carrying on about this whole 3LW business. Notori, she's a successful actress, and she is on the hit show called Power, so she really has no need to talk about 3LW. Neither does Adrian. Adrian is on an Emmy award-winning show, The Real, and she doesn't need to talk about it either. Both Adrian and Notori are very successful women. Now, I don't really quite know what Keely is doing, but the fact 
fact that she and her sister are going off about 3LW online lets me know that she might not be doing anything as productive as Adrian and Natori. I'll just say that. Also, another person said this. So Keely, has Natori's skin color ever played a role in her not being in 3LW? Just asking because she had an interview at The Real and Adrian apologized for hurting her. I love all you guys, but that's definitely a question that needs to be answered. Keely said, I don't know if her color played a role in her being in the group. I don't know why Adrian apologized. My guess would be to get everyone to stop thinking she's racist, but I will not apologize for something that I didn't do. I was good to both of them. They know it. That's why I will probably never be a guest on her show. Laugh out loud. It would get way too quote unquote real. Someone else said, Keely, I wish you all got together and talked this thing out. Just the three of you. Nobody but you three. We would love to see 3LW reunite. You all have fans. Let the past go. It's about growth. And Keely said, I don't think that will ever happen. It would mean admitting they've been lying on me and my family for like 15 years. But you never know. Stranger things have happened. I find it interesting that Keely is trying to play the victim. She's talking about how good she was to Adrian and Notori, but she threw a hot plate of food in Notori's face. I don't see how that's being good to anyone. And not only that, Adrian and Keely did fall out. I don't know why they fell out, but they're no longer close. And you gotta remember, Adrian and Keely were not only in 3LW, but they also were in a group Cheetah Girls together. So they were friends, but somehow, some way, they kind of grew apart. And one of these days, I want Adrian to talk about it because she's never opened up about that. But there's a clear reason why Notori and Adrian are no longer close with Keely. And I do believe that Keely and her family is the common denominator, whether they want to admit it or not. But anyway, Tease also said this, Adrian is a phony and anyone who really knows her from day one knows that I speak the truth. She's always showed her colors. She could literally see a fan whisper to me that the girl was ugly or fat or some other disparaging remark and then turn on a dime and say, girl, I just love your hair or whatever when the fan approached her. And she's a liar. Why would anyone lie about getting a boo job? Lots of people have them. I've gotten four, but that's another story. I literally found a doctor at her request and made the appointment. Her mom flew to LA to be with her during her recovery, but she still lied about it on the real. Can't believe a word she says. Adrian is just trying to make herself look good with that notorious interview. Trust. First of all, Tease is lying because Adrian has admitted several times on the real that she had a boob job. So I don't know what she's talking about. At 19 years old, I went and got breast implants and then I ended up getting them removed. Really? What do you have now? What's going on with you now? I had a lift. I thought at 19 years old when I first got breast implants, I, I shared with you guys before that I had my breast implants when I was 19 years old, later on ended up removing them. The fact that Tease told a blatant lie on Adrian lets me know that she is a liar. I have to be completely honest about Keely and her sister Tease. There's a reason why they haven't been able to really progress in the music industry. Even though Tease had all these connections, there's a reason why it hasn't been able to work out for her. And there's also a reason why Keely is not as successful as Notori and Adrian. And it's really because they're kind of catty, especially Tease. She strikes me as a very catty and bitter woman. And I do believe that she and her family mistreated Notori and possibly even Adrian. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.